today I'm going to talk about some natural ways to treat kidney disease in dogs as opposed to the conventional methods of treatment. Um, so to begin, the kidneys are obviously vital components of a dog's overall health, um, but despite this, kidney disease is actually very common among dogs. Um, so basically, the kidney's sole purpose is to serve as a filtration system to filter out salt, toxins, waste, and other toxins from the blood. Um, all that extracted waste is then excreted in the urine. Um, unfortunately, sometimes there is too much to filter, which causes the kidneys to work more than they are capable of, which then causes kidney disease. Um, which can be classified as the abrupt decline in kidney function that causes irreversible damage. Um, typically, kidney disease is much more prevalent in geriatric dogs, but it can occur, it can occur in dogs at any age. Um, so here is a drawing of what a healthy kidney should look like, as opposed to a disease-ridden kidney. And then here is a real-life image of what a kidney looks like with kidney disease. Um, so these are a list of the most common symptoms of kidney disease. These consist of increased thirst, increased urination, vomiting, diarrhea, reduced appetite, weight loss, poor body and coat condition, and lethargy. Um, so kidney disease can be caused by a variety of factors. As I mentioned, kidney disease is most commonly caused by substances that cause kidneys to overwork, eventually causing them to malfunction. Um, so here is a list of the most common causes of kidney disease. Um, so first and foremost, a poor diet is one of the leading causes of kidney disease, especially in dogs who are fed commercial kibble. Um, commercial kibble is extremely high in carbohydrates, which alkalizes in the dog's urine. Um, this then results in the development of calcium crystals in the bladder, which prevents urine from passing, which ine inevitably results in kidney failure. Um, high carb diets also increase the blood sugar, which is strongly linked to kidney disease. In fact, over 50% of dogs who eat high-carb kibble are expected to develop kidney disease. Um, to expand on poor diets, grains are also detrimental in a dog's kidney health. Um, in 47% of bags of commercial kidney or commercial kibble, um, ochratoxin, which is a harmful mycotoxin that results from grain, is found. Um, mycotoxins are just obviously just very unnecessary in the bottom, and they put a lot of stress on the kidneys. And then a final aspect of poor diet is that commercial kibble is extremely dry and loaded with excessive levels of salt. Um, the levels of salt in kibble starts at 1%, which is the equivalent concentration to seawater. Um, consuming more salt than is recommended inhibits the kidney's ability to suck in water that is necessary to filter out the wastes. Um, salt also increases a dog's blood pressure, which puts strains on the kidneys. Um, in addition, commercial kibble is so dry that it literally sucks water out of the dog, which leads to a constant state of dehydration. Um, and then, obviously, dehydration makes it difficult for the kidneys to function. Beyond diet, many other factors can cause kidney disease, such as stress, infection, and kidney trauma. Um, in addition, the environment is a huge factor in causing kidney disease. Um, this is because dogs are frequently exposed to pesticides, antifreeze, and many other harsh chemicals that are detrimental to kidney health. And then over vaccinating and over deworming dogs also pumps many unnecessary toxins in the dog that inhibits kidney function. Dogs often receive many unnecessary vaccines. Um, so um, this is why titering is actually a growing trend to really just determine what vaccines a dog truly needs. Um, and then finally, kidney disease can be due to genetics because some breeds are more prone than others, such as Cocker Spaniels, Bull Terriers, and German Shepherds. So conventionally, to treat kidney disease, most veterinarians recommend prescription bland diets that are very low in protein because it is less work for the kidneys. Um, they opt for low protein because it's high in phosphorus, which creates a high nitrogen load, which is very stressful on the kidneys. Um, they often recommend Hill's Science Diet Kidney Care um, to treat the kidney disease, but as the ingredient panel indicates, it's loaded with grains and carbs, which is also one of the main causes of kidney disease. So while this treatment might mask the problem, it's not really solving any underlying issues. Um, as a matter of fact, reducing the amount of protein in the diet actually reduces the effectiveness of the kidneys because the amount of blood that is filtered through the kidneys is directly related to the amount of protein in the diet. So this really just means that reduced protein means reduced filtration, which reduces toxin excretion. Um, veterinarians often opt to vaccinate dogs with kidney disease to fix any metabolic or electrolyte imbalances. Um, and I kind of find this counterintuitive just because excessive vaccinations kind of put stress on the kidneys. So there are also like many other natural ways to solve this. 
Um, so overall, conventional treatments only marginally slow the progression of kidney disease, but they don't put it at a halt. Um, so then I have like suggestions for some natural treatments. Um, I have seen these results with my own eyes because I work at a holistic pet boutique and I've seen just how a simple change in diet can solve all these issues. Um, so first, it's essential to get your dog off of raw kibble and immediately transition to a fresh diet that is ideally raw meat, fresh fruits and vegetables. Um, raw meat is way more natural and gentle on the kidneys as opposed to the byproducts and muscle meats and commercial kibbles. Um, obviously, the raw meat is still going to have the phosphorus, which is a concern for kidney health, but there are actually ways to fix that. Um, the phosphorus can actually be bound so that, is it, it, that it's excreted in the poop so it doesn't build up in the blood. So first, this can be done by feeding an appropriate calcium to phosphorus ratio, which will bind the phosphorus. Um, also, adding dark leafy greens, prebiotics, and probiotics will bind the excess phosphorus that's excreted in the waste, or excreted in the poop and not the blood. And then also the pre and probiotics simply just cleanse the GI tract of unnecessary toxins. And those are my sources. Now let's go back to that sure. last slide. So dark leafy greens, kind of like uh, broccoli and spinach and kale. Yep. But somebody gave a presentation the other day and they said they think that helps reduce cancer as well. Yeah. No, definitely lots of benefits. So now where is this holistic place? Don't say the name of it, but just. Is it in West Lafayette? Chicagoland area. It's in okay, Northwest Chicago Indiana, Indiana, yeah. It's okay. definitely like the leading store of its kind. Like, mm -hmm. if the vet treatments aren't working, they will go to my boss and he'll be like, listen, we're just going to do this and this and immediately. Now, the thing is, it's kind of a black box because, you know, some dogs are born with congenital right. kidney disease. Right. And no matter what you do, you know, may or They're may not fix it, it right. if it's something that's not congenital. Yeah, I was kind of just like focusing on like, how it kind of just comes over time yeah. and like how it can be avoided essentially. Yeah. Well, this whole, yeah, I always think of it's a black box because who knows what's going on inside yeah. and some kibble might not be bad. Some right, days. it's definitely like new ideas. Like I feel like yeah. as time is going on, people are like definitely going more holistic. Right, well I, I, I think the holistic thing is instead of always medicines and vaccines, they look at other things. Do they get much down at the vet school, Michelle? Uh, holistic? Okay. I was going to say, I know most places just like teach you traditionally, and if you want right. to practice holistically, you have to just.